So I'm at this pond, uh, been here before in one of the videos. Favorite spot to carp fish. I was just at a pond in my school for carp. See them all, they were not biting. I have bread, flower rod, so we can catch. Um, yeah, see what we can do. First, you gotta uh, chum the area. So what I do, roll a piece of bread into a ball, throw it out there and do that. Keep them uh, kind of close together, like make make a circle almost. Which is bread, you know, fill the middle up too. And you just want to keep on doing that. Keep on rolling it up. Some of them will float, like the crust. Crust will definitely float, like, if you have floated that even roll up into a ball. But the middle stuff is the good part. And just keep on throwing it out there, tossing them. I'm gonna be using a little sinker and a hook. You roll the bread up into a ball like this. Then just stick it through the bread. So just a little of it is sticking out. And there you go. And then cast it out there. Right into the, where you were chumming. Boom, that's where I was chumming. And then just let it sit. I like to prop it up on my bag. Like this. And all you gotta do is wait. R.I.P. little buddy. First time I've ever seen a dead goose. And it is disgusting, but sorry. Guys, 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 you got something. There it was. There we go. Oh man, dude, I almost pulled in my rod. Oh, there we go. First carp of the day. It's gotta be, a, yeah, it's a little one. That guy almost pulled it. These fish got power. That guy basically ripped out my rod. I'm sitting on my fly rod. Fly rod. And this guy, oh buddy, let's get him up to shore. Oh, there we go. Buddy, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I'm not trying to get wet. Thank you. Uh, let's get him up. Yes, look at that. First carp of the day. Look at the fin. Beautiful fish, hooked him right in the side of the mouth. All right, guys, so, oh, jeez. <laughs> there it is. But stop, carp. Big dorsal fins, which is close up. Oh, this one's got something wrong with them. Big tail fins, some sucker mouths. What a beautiful fish. This little one almost pulled them out rod. They are powerful, have power. Everybody needs fish for these fish. These are not garbage fish. These are powerful fish. Trust me, you need a fish for them. Yep, yep, there we go, right there. That's freaking perfect. This one doesn't bite this and I have no clue. What is up? There we go, hooked up. On a fly rod. Tighten this a little bit more. There we go, mother rod is over there. Yes. Dude, I've been trying this all day with the fly rod. I just could not get one to bite. I don't want them to snap the line. I'm using only four pound test. Gotta be careful because I got another rod right there. And that, oh yeah, that one's got some, oh, come on, man. That one's got something on it too. The line just, yeah, come on, no, no. All right, yo, that rod just, that rod's line is going tight in the stopping. So this just is getting too far. Thank you, I love fishing for these fish. Especially in the fly rod. Look at that. Look at the run. I still have I still have my drag like medium. So I didn't want to go too loose where you know I was faking it. But I didn't want to go so high that you know it just snaps. So I got a medium where it's like a true run and it's it's just not going anywhere. There's gotta be one of the bigger carps in here. Dude, that rod's going, oh my God.
Just gotta work them, work them, work them, work them. No, 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 that rod's going crazy. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I got freaking two rods out. This rod's, I'm just letting out drag now, man. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Oh my God, uh, what do I do with this one? Um, yeah, yeah. I, um, I'm hooked up on both rods, so um, yeah. What do I do here? Um, re I guess reel, reel this one in and just bring it up on land, I guess. That's not a, that's not a bad carp. Um, yeah, because I'm I'm freaking screwed basically. Um, yeah, come up on land real quick for me, bud. Thank you. Um, this one's still hooked up. Let me get in some line over here. Um, here I'm about to just let this one run. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna work on this one real quick. Um, what's up, bud? Um, yeah, come on, bud. Stop, stop, stop. All right, guys, here's this fish. Um, that's not a bad carp. This one's still up on a fly rod. Come on, man. Get, come on, get out, get out. Oh, got it, got it. All right, um, yeah, there's that fish again. Nice size. There he goes. Um, now I got the fly rod still. So, um, yep, he's still on. That's freaking ridiculous. <laughs> I just caught two fish almost, basically. <laughs> if I catch this one, that's two fish at once. That's dope. That's something I've never done before. Yeah, it's time to come in, bud. It's time to come in. Oh my God. <laughs> Do not get stuck in a rock, please. Here, I'm gonna make it easy. I'm gonna come to you, all right? There he is. Not a bad one. Bring him up. He's gonna make one more run. Yep, I knew it. Turn around, buddy. Come on. Come on, just a little bit more. Turn your head this way. Thank you. There he goes. Oh, I'm not trying to get freaking wet. Yeah, because they just splashed the freaking... They just splashed the heck out of me. Yeah, I'm going to just bring you over here, I guess. Um, Just throw you right up on these rocks. These little pebbles. Come on, bud. This way. Yep. There you go. All right, he's gonna splash again. There we go, got him. Oh! <laughs> Boom, look at that. Oh my God, this dude is freaking fat. Look at that fish. With the fly, such a beautiful fish. Look at the tail, though, he's gonna beat up a little bit. Such a beautiful fish, but so ugly at the same time. All right, let's get this thing out. Easy peasy. Thank you, bud. Tell all your friends. Come back next time. And we will see you later, bud. Oh, I'm, I'm still hooked up to the fly line. Oops. Thank you, buddy. You're acclimated. I mean, I mean, well acclimated. Come on, bud. You're, you're free. There he goes. What a beast. Guys, that was super dope. Caught one on the black streamer. Shout out for my grandfather for making that. Caught some on bread. Shout out for Wegmans for making that too. Um, I was kind of worried. I was like, that rod, this rod's gonna be pulled in, or my fly rod's gonna be pulled in, cause you can't just leave them on. So, cause they'll pull, they'll definitely pull them in. So, kind of glad I think I handled that well. Probably not. I was probably screaming or something. I don't really know. But that was freaking dope. First time I ever caught two carp at the same time. That's, I mean check off the bucket list i guess but whatever um yeah hopefully we catch some more so that was freaking dope guys there's another one get this out yep got another one dude on the bread they're loving this bread now the oh 
That was a fat. Oh my god. Oh, this one's not even that big, but he's he's sure strong. Let's get him up. Let's get him up. Let's just get him up. Sup, buddy? Oh my dude, he's dark. Dude, you're getting your face full of mud. Oh jeez, dude, that one's dark. This fish is dark. Let's get him up. Oh, there we go. Oh, dude, you just fell back down. Let's get him up. Stop. All right, I'm gonna get the hook out. All right. Got a sore in your mouth there, dude. Dude, why won't these hooks come out? Ah, oh, man. What the heck? Why won't this hook come out? This one need my tweet. Buddy, oh, it just broke. Okay, well, there he goes. Now you got a hook in your mouth. Guys, this is the fourth carp that I've seen dead. So there's some jackass keeps on taking these fish and just killing them. Cause who knows why, he's just being an ass about it. Cause I mean, look how far it is from there. Like nothing is reaching in or grabbing this size of a fish and just pulling it up here and not eating it. So it's somebody doing it or there's a disease going around just killing fish this size. I mean, look, look. There's another one dead right there. It's almost the same exact size, so they're all about that size. So something's somebody's catching them and killing them, I think. That's what I think so if it's happening. I'll show you more. Guys, I'm hooked up again. I'm over here fly fishing. And I'm I'm hooked up again. Boom, there we go, another one. Oh, it's a little baby. Look at this. What is that? A bullhead? Oh my god, I didn't even know catfish were even in here. I just got a bullhead on bread. Or whatever. What type of catfish is it? It's bullhead, right? I don't know, I'm bad with catfish, but... It's freaking dope. I didn't even know bullheads were even in here. That's pretty cool. Look at this. Look at that, little whiskers. Little teeth. That's pretty dope. I didn't even know bullheads were even in here. This is the first bullhead that I've caught in Greece. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Ah, his spine's got me. <laughs> there you go, right there. Little bullhead, or that's what I'm calling it, I don't know. Before I go, I want to point out that here's another one. It's almost the same exact size as the other one we saw. So either somebody's catching them and just killing them, or I don't think it's an animal, because the animal can't like, you know, fish for a carp this size and then drag it up. There's no bears around here, so I don't think bears will eat carp anyways. But somebody's killing them. That's sad. Look, another carp dad. So somebody must be catching them and killing them because I want to be this many dead carp. Well, look at all the maggots just eating away at it. That's disgusting. This is kind of sad, to be honest. It's like 12 o'clock at night. Let's keep this short and simple. I caught six carp today. That was a plus and a bullhead. Don't know which type of bullhead it was. I only did this video because somebody said at my school that you can't fish with bread. It won't stay on the hook. Well, dude, proved you wrong. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do this again. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. See ya.